In 2BBY, officially the Alliance to Restore the Republic was formed by a resistance movement by the Imperial Senators by the signing of the Karelian Treaty led by Bail Organa and Mob Mothma to oppose the Galactic Empire. Once assembled, the Alliance was composed into well-trained soldiers and brilliant commanders, who mostly defected from the Galactic Empire due to the atrocities they committed. For this video, I will focus on the Commission Officer ranks of the Rebel Alliance Fleet, Sector Forces and Starfighter Corps from Legend Source material, starting with the lowest ranks first. The Rebel Alliance's military officer insignias were displayed either by red dots for the Sector or blue dots for the Fleet, or a combination of red and blue for the Starfighter Corps. As shown here, they were attached upon a metal plate, much like the Imperial rank plaques. When the Alliance to Restore the Republic was first formed, it began an alliance of military groups, and as a result its ranks were heavily biased towards the army rank structure. The Alliance loosely based their ranks on their ground units on the ranks of the Grand Army of the Republic. As with the Republic, a general had overall control over all the fleet and army assets. A commander oversaw outposts and commanded regiments, a captain commanded companies and a lieutenant led squads and platoons. Each regional resistance cell became a sector force, each one commanded by a general. The Alliance's fleet resources were limited to whatever the Rebellion could steal, and slowly a growing number of defectors. Each ship was a valuable asset in itself, and in the early days each commanding officer had a considerable amount of authority. As these early rank plaques show, there was only a general, a commander, a captain and a lieutenant for the sector forces. A captain was the highest rank among the Alliance fleet for some time, and the Rebellion's ranks mirrored the sector force ranks, utilising a commander, a lieutenant and a sub-lieutenant for its officers. As with most Army-Navy comparisons, the rank plaques of captain and lieutenant were not equivalent between two branches. Because the Alliance lacked a navy, and had no way to deploy sublight fighters between star systems, the Alliance Starfighter Corps was established to coordinate long-range strike missions using hyperspace-capable starfighters, something that became a signature of the Rebellion and gave them a crucial edge over the Imperial TIE Fighters. Based at the same Sector Force outposts as their ground compatriots, the Starfighter Corps mimicked the red insignia of the Sector Forces, but with its own rank titles. The Corps was commanded centrally by a general, with each squadron led by a commander each flight led by a lieutenant, and each flight flown by a flight officer. To differentiate from a general in the Starfighter Corps, from one in a sector force, a middle blue coloured circle on the Starfighter insignia was blue, representative of the way Starfighters blurred the line between Army and Navy. However, by the time of the Battle of Yavin, the Rebellion had grown in size to such extent that larger units were required. The rank structure needed to adapt to accommodate. The Starfighter Corps began to fill multiple squadrons as part of a wing, and required a way to distinguish between its wing commanders and squadron commanders. For the sake of convenience, the Starfighter Corps borrowed the commander insignia from the Alliance fleet to represent a wing commander, Luke Skywalker being one at first. The Alliance also found themselves needing more mid-level officers to a junior battalion or a starship and also having wing commanders but with having seniority over subordinate units. To achieve this, the existing commander insignia was inverted so that it was pointing downwards. The new rank was known as the Lieutenant Commander to the Alliance Fleet and Starfighter Corps, and as a major within the Sector Forces. After the Battle of Yavin, the Rebellion's victory via Starfighters against the Death Star created an influx of new pilots, all wanting to be the next Luke Skywalker. Freestanding squadrons became increasingly significant part of the Sector Forces, and as a result the Starfighter ranks were modified to be more closely fit with the Sector Force ranks. A flight officer became an entry level rank for anyone who could fly, and the promotion criteria for lieutenants were relaxed so that the flight leader status was not necessary. The most significant changes came with the restructuring of Spec Force under General Crix Maydeen and the liberation of Ban Calamari, which allowed the Alliance's starship to be organised as a bona fide fleet. The Alliance's headquarters was moved to the home fleet, and the old captain insignia was repurposed to the new rank of Admiral. A new set of four coloured insignias were devised, and came to represent a captain for the Alliance fleet, and a colonel for the starfighter and sector forces. The new spec force was centralised and organised into regiments of a particular specialism, with a colonel commanding each. 
The last significant upheaval to the Alliance rank structure came following the devastating losses at the Battle of Endor, but also the subsequent liberation and defection of entire worlds and territories to the Rebel Alliance. The Alliance adopted a new system whereby blue and red rank insignias would be used with blue denoting seniority. The fleet adopted the Sector Force General insignia, using it to represent a Rear Admiral. Both of these allow the Alliance fleet a much more comprehensive leadership hierarchy, allowing the fleet to operate with greater autonomy across the broader area. With the Alliance fleet increasing in variety, as well as in size, additional tiers of leadership were needed to command different scales of vessel. The fleet split the rank of Lieutenant Commander into two grades. The more senior represented the three downward circles, was awarded to the Lieutenant Commanders who had been placed in command of their own corvette. Frigates were typically commanded by a commander, cruisers by a captain, and large carriers and star destroyers were used by flagships by commodores and members of the Admiralty. The lower grade of Lieutenant Commander represented three upward circles and was reserved for non-commanding officers. The fleet also added the rank of Senior Lieutenant. Because starfighter operations had begun to migrate away from Sector Force's outposts and towards Alliance fleet carriers, the starfighter ranks were adapted to match the fleet's dual red-blue system. This allowed the Corps to distinguish via rank between a lieutenant who was a senior pilot and a flight lieutenant who commanded a flight. Notable characters from the Star Wars movies were Cal Alder who held the rank of lieutenant as part of Echo Base's ground staff prior to the Battle of Hoth in 3 ABY, Ramus Antilles who held the rank of captain, who captained the Alderaan diplomatic cruiser Tantive IV before his death in Zero BBY at the hands of Darth Vader. Brent Durlin held the rank of Major. He served as Operations and Security Chief at Echo Base. In The Empire Strikes Back, Luke Skywalker also held the rank of Commander for the Alliance Navy. Ledic Firest held the rank of Colonel, who was a field commander. He famously led the Rebel Special Forces against the Empire at the Battle of Hoth. Firis was responsible for carrying out rebel troop movements in the field, as ordered by Echo Base Command Staff. Characters who held the rank of General were Jan de Donna, Carlis Riken, Van der Willard and Crix Maydeen. The most notable Admiral of the Navy was Gilles Agbar. Subscribe to the channel for more Imperial videos. Thank you for watching, long live the Empire and as always, may the Force be with you.